Hi friends. So in this session, we are going to solve one more problem on the single degree of freedom system, where the spring combinations are given. And for this different spring combinations, we are going to solve. Now to solve this one, see, uh, initially I'll start with initially I'll start with the combination which is given here. This combination is a series and here this combination is parallel. Now how to determine this series and parallel combination? The simple rule is if for two springs displacement is same means this point is going to move in downward direction so displacement will be same then that combination is parallel combination means where there is displacement same that is the parallel combination and this one will be the series combination so after solving this this problem will reduce to a single spring for this one then the next spring of this 3 kilo newton per meter then we have mass of 1000 kg and here we will get the equivalent for series combination and that we will have to solve now to solve this one first for this first figure i will have to solve the parallel combination so i'll solve for the parallel combination so for parallel combination equivalent spring stiffness will be addition of the parallel springs so there are two parallel springs so it will be the addition so here i'll write kp1 because this is the first parallel combination so kp1 will be k1 plus k2 means k1 this one 5 and k2 will be 5 so 5 plus 5 means the kp1 value is a 10 and its unit is kilo newton per meter okay so this value the per parallel combination it comes out to be 10 kilo newton per meter so we have replaced by a single spin now from the same figure we will solve for the series combination because at the top there is parallel combination and at bottom there is series combination and in the series combination the equivalent spring stiffness is 1 by k is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 as we have only two springs so i have written 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 now we will put the values so 1 by ks1 that we are going to identify 1 by k1 is 2 and 1 by k2 is 4 see for first spring it is 2 for second spring it is 4 so this will be i will make the denominator same so multiply and divide by 2 on the on this side so it will be 2 plus 1 that is the 3 by 4 which will be the value of 1 divided by ks1 so take the inverse so the inverse will be ks1 equal to 4 divided by 3 okay so the value of ks1 will be 4 divided by 3 kilo newton per meter so i'll replace this series combination with this one and its value is 4 by 3 kilo newton per meter okay so finally our system is reduced to three spring system okay so initially there were five springs and we have solved one series one parallel combination to reduce into a single single spring so ultimately it is reduced to the three springs now we will solve the next one see this spring and this spring these two springs are in series so we will have to solve the series combination and when we will solve for the series combination then this total system will be reduced to one spring at top then mass then second spring so this will be reduced to this one this spring will remain as it is 4 by 3 kilo newton per meter and for this spring this spring will have to solve 
so I am going to solve for this one. So for second, we will have to solve this series combination. So I am going to solve series combination. Now, what is the formula for the series combination? It is inverse addition. So 1 by k is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2. So I am solving this second time. So I will write ks2. Okay. So 1 by ks2 equal to 1 divided by c. The first spring is 10 and second spring is 3. So 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 3. Now to solve this one, I'll make I'll make denominator same. So here I'll multiply by 3 and divide by 3. So this will become 3 by 30. And here I'll multiply by 10 and divide by 10. So plus 10 means 1 into 10 is 10 and 3 into 10 is 30. So this will become 30. Okay. So this will finally become 13 by 30. 1 divided by k s2 the value of ks2 so take the inverse so ks2 will be 30 divided by 30 okay this is the value and the unit is kilo newton per meter so finally we have solved this one to get into a single spring and that single spring will be having stiffness of 30 by 13 kilo newton per meter okay now finally we reduced this total given problem to a two spring problem okay now these two springs see this first one and this second one these two springs are in parallel now why these two springs are in parallel actually it look like a series combination but the mass is in between these two springs so because of that when it is going to displace means mass is going to displace so suppose it is moved in downward direction then this upward spring will be elongated by amount x and simultaneously this second spring will be compressed by amount of s x means deformation of both the springs is same so this combination is parallel combination and we will have to solve for this parallel combination so I will solve for this parallel combination here, I will write 3, three. just wait, ok, so 3, we are solving the parallel combination. Now for parallel combination, for parallel combination the equivalent spring stiffness will be addition of k1 plus k2. So, we are solving for second time so i'll write ks2 is equal to c the front's first spring stiffness is 30 by 13 and the second spring stiffness is 4 by 3 okay so if we solve this one finally we will get just wait the answer will be 30 by 13 plus 4 by 3. It will be equal to, I am going to write 3.641. So, Ks2 value will be 3.641 kilo Newton per meter means we have reduced the given system to a single spring so finally finally this will be reduced to a single spring system because we have solved this parallel combination which will reduce to a single spring with mass okay and this spring stiffness is the new one that is 3.641 okay kilo newton per meter the mass they have given which is 1000 kg okay and we'll have to solve this one so suppose this displacement is x then in the problem they have asked to determine the natural frequency so we'll determine the natural frequency they have also asked for the equivalent stiffness so our answer number one is this one that is the total equivalent stiffness so 
this is the equivalent stiffness of our system and finally our system is reduced to single spring and mass where the mass is where the mass is 1000 kg and the spring stiffness is 3.641 kN per meter now we'll solve for the natural frequency so natural frequency how to determine so before natural frequency we will find the natural circular frequency that is omega n so omega n is nothing but the under root k by m under root k by m so we will put the values under root the value of k is 3.641 but the unit is kilo newton so i am going to write into 10 raised to 3 so it will be converted into newton divided by mass the mass is 1000 is 1000 in the correction it is 1000 now just find the answer so omega n will be it is root of 3.641 into 10 raised to 10 raised to 3 divide by 1000 so equal to so the answer is 1.9 so omega n is 1.9 radian per second so this is the circular frequency and if i want the natural frequency then fn is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into root k by m that is omega n so 1 divided by 2 pi root oh sorry into omega n is 1.9 so this 1.9 divided by 2 pi the answer is 0.3 so the answer is 0.3 hertz so this is your final answer that is the natural frequency now i'll quickly revise what we have solved in the given statement they have given the five springs so i have reduced these two springs by parallel combination and these two by series combination to three springs then these two springs are in series so i'll for solve for series combination so it is reduced to two springs then again these two springs are in parallel because one spring will be elongated second spring will be compressed but by same amount so that is the deformation for both the spring is same so it is parallel combination so we have solved for parallel combination and it is reduced to a single spring mass system and for this single spring mass system we have solved the given problem okay thank you